I think, you know, Ackerson came into Halo uh, as the villain, or he was painted as the villain in, initially, but there was always a plan for him to change throughout the season. You know, if there's an event, like a linchpin, a turning point for the character, which influences him to change, then I think you can let that kind of take you by surprise, but also I think you need to lay the groundwork for it. So what I try and do is build a character and just show in the cracks, in the little moments that there's potential for that growth, for that change. The vulnerability and the care that Ackerson shows with his father. Like there, for example, we see that this is a human being that has potential to care, to be empathetic and perhaps to regret sacrificing so many millions of lives. I enjoy playing a nuanced character because I feel like Part of the fun is trying to understand the characters' motives and where they're coming from, why they do what they do, and you have to have nuance for that. And so for me, it's always a, a, a challenge I kind of take personally is to, to find what's relatable in the character and then hopefully make that relatable to an audience. So you confuse an audience, you make them think, well, this is the bad guy, but I'm, I'm starting to feel for him, God damn it. <laughs> With Ackerson, yeah, he comes in not knowing the Spartans and he comes into the briefing room with a kind of confidence and energy like, okay, I'm the new boss and this is why you're going to listen to me. And so I felt like I could use the real life circumstances there, you know, use the fact that they didn't quite know who this new actor was who was coming into their show and I, I could uh, kind of channel that. You know, I just wanted to be a part of the halo that I grew up loving and for me, I, I liked season one, but I felt it was flawed in, in some ways. It wasn't quite the, the show that I wanted to make, but I, I really trusted David Wiener, who was our showrunner for season two. He brought me on, you know, I worked with him before on Brave New World. And uh, his vision of the show was just grittier and kind of grimier, darker in aesthetic and, and in, in feel. I felt like he moved closer to the canon I, I don't care if Master Chief's helmet is on or off, but I do want to relate to the characters. I do want to feel for them, and I do want to feel like this is Halo, and this is the the world that that I've played on a little 2D screen on my couch holding a controller. And I, I felt like we did that. It was it was a, an exciting show that looked and and felt like my Halo, and that's that's what I wanted from it.